In this video, I'm excited to share with you this scholarship opportunity that is open to foreign students from non-EU countries as well as other scholarships that are open to those that are refugees in Germany. And the scholarship benefit is up to a maximum of €1,200 monthly plus a health insurance coverage. You still have the option to also pursue a job, a student job in addition to this funding. And the scholarship do not have to be repaid and the application is of course free of charge. Please watch this video till the end to get the full details of this scholarship. Also, I'll be sharing all the details and tips you need to know to be able to successfully submit this application. Hi, my name is Sylvia and subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell. Also, like and share this video with your family and friends. This scholarship is offered by the Friedrich Neumann Foundation in Germany. And the scholarship is for foreign students from non-EU countries. And they support students with very good grade in full study at German University. And the scholarship do not have to be repaid. Funding is initially granted for one year and you may apply for an extension for another year until you complete your studies. Fortunately, they cannot fund bachelor program study and research days or internship so basically this particular scholarship is, is for those that intend to pursue their masters or phd studies in germany and here they have other scholarship for students so they have scholarship for german students scholarship for refugees and scholarship for eu students we'll come to the scholarship for refugee in a bit and for a master's student you're going to be receiving a monthly allowance to a maximum of 861 euros whilst for a phd student you'll be receiving a maximum of 1200 euros a month and as a foreign student, you have an opportunity to pursue a job in addition to this funding. But the important thing to note is that your gross income should not be over 450 euros. Otherwise, the difference will be offset against the scholarship amount. And you would also be receiving a monthly contribution to health insurance and long-term care insurance. Note that this particular scholarship does not support the following. They don't support a second degree, a part-time degree, or a distant learning course that is not completed full-time, and advanced or supplementary degree courses, bachelor programs for foreign non-EU students, studies during the final phase, or any type of projects like internship, language courses, or travel subsidies, and so on. So let's see what can be funded. It says funding is provided for first degree programs, bachelor's and master's degree combined at first degree programs at German, European and Swiss state or state recognized universities. This includes universities as well as University of Applied Sciences, Arts, Colleges, Educational or Theological Colleges. Furthermore, they support doctorate. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and share it with your family and friends. Also, subscribe to the channel to be part of this community. So let's have a look at what cannot be funded. So the following are not funded. Second degrees, LLM, MBA, part-time degree, bachelor's degree from non-European applicants, doctorates in dentistry and human medicine, postdoc programs, projects, and separate stays abroad. And the minimum funding period is two semesters or three trimesters. Please note that you must apply no later than the third to last semester before completing your studies. If you're already planning a master's degree, you can apply in the last or penultimate bachelor semester. And importantly, there is no age limit for this particular application. Even if you're not yet admitted to any particular university, you can still send in your application. And when you are selected for interview, then you can present your letter of admission or matriculation certificate. And for you to make this application, you have to come to the application portal. And this is the link to the application portal but right now this particular link is not active because it's not yet the application window it says the next application phase will run from 1st of october until the 31st of october 2023 so i'm making this particular video so that you can get aware of this particular scholarship and get your documents ready and please stay tuned by subscribing to the channel because once this application window opens i'm going to be either making another video if need be or post it in my community tab to alert you and applications can only be submitted via the online application portal so this is how the form you're going to be filling online is going to be looking like so this is just the pdf format of the page so basically go through this form to familiarize yourself of all the information that they'll be requiring from you and get everything ready once the application window opens and importantly write a very good convincing motivation letter 
tailored in line to the objective of the Friedrich Neumann's Foundation objectives. As always, I would encourage you to go through the frequently asked questions. It has a whole lot of questions covered in regards to this particular scholarship and how to make the application. An important question I'd like to point us to is regarding foreign applicants. And here it says, do I have to have knowledge of German? And the answer is yes, the application document must be submitted in German. So that is why the sample I showed us earlier was completely in German. So you can already see. And the selection interview will take place in German even if you are applying for the funding of an English language course or an English language doctoral program. Knowledge of German on the minimum of level B2 is essential for participating in this program. I encourage you already to start learning German to enable you to be able to navigate this part. And this brings me to the next question. I have been resident in Germany for several years. May I still apply? It says you can apply to this scholarship if you have not been in Germany for more than 15 months prior to the start of the scholarship. Another important question is do my certificates have to be certified when I apply? And it says no, the certificates do not have to be certified when submitting the application. If they have questions about any individual documents, then they will contact you. So please take your time and go through these questions to understand all about this scholarship. And this is the scholarship for refugees. So if you recognize refugee and study full time at any government recognized university in Germany, then they can support all your subjects. Regardless of the scholarship, you're going to be getting a monthly lump sum of 300 euros. Grant subsidies for studying abroad for a maximum of 12 months. And their funding is initially for one year and you can apply for extension every year until you graduate. You can send in your application if you will soon have your high school diploma or you already have your high school diploma or you have completed your high school diploma as well as vocational training and now you want to study or you have already started studying or you are already in the master's program. So there are various possibilities for you to enter into the scholarship program for refugees. Place their contact details, their telephone number, and email address in case you need to contact them. Please do well to forward this video to those that you know that might be benefiting from this particular scholarship opportunity. Please let me know in the comment section below if you will be applying to this scholarship. This is pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Like and share this video for others to benefit from it. Drop your comments and concerns and I will respond to each of them. And with this, I want to say thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.